More drama across the Atlantic today. The UK Parliament rejected Prime Minister Theresa May's latest plan to exit the European Union. This vote leaves the United Kingdom with no obvious way forward ahead of the March 29 deadline to leave that bloc. And that has created loads of confusion around the nation's political and economic future. Our Villa Marks joins us tonight from London. So what, what was the key issue that made it fail again? And you've got two more key votes coming up over the next few days, right? That's right, Bill. Yeah, the key issue was once again an issue that's dominated the conversation of the last six months or so since we got close to the details of this deal being agreed back in December. But essentially, it was the idea that the UK would be involved in an insurance policy the EU demanded, the Irish government demanded, which would avoid having a hard border on the island of Ireland. That's something that a lot of critics of this deal said could lead to the UK being trapped in a customs union because that would be the way to avoid having a hard border. That's something they didn't want to see because it would limit the UK's ability to create an independent trade policy in the future. And essentially, despite a last ditch effort by Theresa May last night in talks with her counterparts in Strasbourg in France, she was unable to get the legal advice about the ability to exit that backstop that she had hoped for. And that's why we saw 149 uh, a majority defeat in terms of the deal tonight. What that means in terms of the next couple of days of votes, very important to note that tomorrow we could see Parliament try to rule out the UK leaving the European Union without an agreement. That's something that could be very economically damaging, according to most analysts. And what that means after that is that on Thursday, if they rule out leaving without a deal, you could then see the Parliament calling for an extension of a two-year period in which we've seen these negotiations continue. That extension would be reliant on the European side allowing it, though. Right, exactly. What about the Prime Minister? Is it a threat to her position as Prime Minister at this point? Well, back in December, she faced a challenge from within her own Conservative Party. Mm -hmm. The rules of that party dictate that it won't be another 12 months till she can be challenged by her own MPs. We've seen in the start of this year that the Labour opposition party, they have tabled a motion no confidence in her government. That did not get a majority because she maintains a very narrow majority with help from a small Northern Irish party. And then at this point, we're looking at whether they will try that motion again. I've been speaking to a number of MPs this evening, though, Sue, and you know, one of them, including the deputy chairman of her own party, and a number of other members of her party have said there is no point changing the prime minister if it doesn't change the fundamental mm -hmm. Brexit position. And this Northern Irish backstop is not going to be negotiated any differently by a different leader. Villa Marks in London. Thanks for staying late for us tonight, Villa.